I think Tempo is probably the eighth wonder of the world. It's a wave that's kind of sacred, it's, it's big, it's scary. There's no wave in the world that's that intense and that perfect for that small amount of time. And it, I mean, it is the most perfect barrels on earth. I don't really have any expectations coming into this event. You know, surf my best, show what I can do out there. And yeah, I think they're going to run the final day tomorrow, which is going to be pumping. I was looking on Expedia the other day and I seen you can book a boat, so maybe I'll do that. Sounds like the comp's on, so we're gonna head out there and check in with Connor Jackson and, and uh, get some behind the scenes look on what it's like out there. Welcome to the end of the road Tahiti and finals day here at the Autonome Tahiti Pro. Make that thing. It's coming out. Beautifully done by Kelly Slater. Voila! Can't second guess that guy. To actually be out here on a boat and experience Chopo at its finest, then you have an event in place, it's, you can't go wrong. To be out here, it's probably not even 8 a.m. It's like, this is your coffee, you don't need it. The vibe out here is so alive, and you can ride a wave out here that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Mikel Pupo rolls in, and deep on the opening section, he completely disappears over the foam ball. As we look at a deep approach, flying into the channel. Jacko, that's you! Jackson Baker out there right now against Griffin Colapinto. We got Jacko out in the water. Waves are starting to pump, so... Oh, here comes some bombs. Hopefully he gets one. Jackson Baker having to eject Griffin Colapinto under the hood and finds an exit. Here we go, Jacko. Baker committing to this one. Pump, 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 pump. Woo! Nice, beautiful wave after the buzzer, but that's going to be a confidence builder for Jackson. Jacko! Griffin Cola Pinto with some good sportsmanship as well as Jackson Baker, but it will be Griffin Cola Pinto moving on. One at the end was sick. I was getting peppered before that. Yeah, it's it's tricky, but well done out there. Yeah, that day at Chokes was a, definitely a, a scary experience and gave it a crack, caught some beatings and got some nice visions. We're in the channel, live action. Waves are absolutely pumping. Boys are out there. Connor's in the jersey right now. Not much more you can ask for. It's absolutely firing. Connor O'Leary against the greatest of all time, Kelly Slater. Connor O'Leary lunging into a round cave over the foam ball. Oh, wow. That was sick. Lake drop, such an intense wave. What a ride for Kelly Slater. 11-time world champ, five-time champ in Tahiti. A thick cavern and the spit where he exits. Look at the scores that have been posted, 9.0. Okay, we got the goat versus Connor. The goat's got a nugget. Loved how he pushed over that second section there and just muscled his way through that foam ball. Long barrel there for Connor. Go, go, go. Whee! That's better. He's back in the eight. In the barrel, threading through here, and Slater comes out yet again. Connor's got two scores, but he's gonna need a bit more to beat the go. Go, Connor! Go! go here we go. Connor O'Leary pumps go! into this one, uh -oh. drawing down the reef, and Connor O'Leary answers back. Great answer. <laughs> this is gonna be a big number here. This is gonna match the nine. 8.58 is what is needed here. Now asking the question of the judges. Was it the best wave for Connor O'Leary? I'm saying yes. Yeah. But I'm biased. 